you have integrations where you want back end control to the SQL database. We like to be technologically advanced. We consider ourselves technologically savvy. We want to be, you know, with the times, you know, we our generation that we cater to is, you know, millennials and maybe Gen Gen Z or whatnot. So we gotta kinda of stay up to date with things. Yep. Should we go cloud or on promise? So what I would say five years, where's everybody gonna be? Well, yeah, exactly. So it depends on what your <laughs> what your time horizon is and, and what you what what your what you plan on doing. In the long run, what you should plan on doing right now is 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 start planning on how do you get to Business Central online. Okay. Because the value that you get for having no infrastructure to support Business Central, right? Meaning, right. meaning you don't have to pay for a server. Yeah, no any of that stuff. IT costs. Yeah, and also probably more importantly, being on a version where it's automatically being updated every month with the latest features and functionality and releases. That's that's where yeah. people are going to be when you talk about gotcha. two, three, four, five years down the road. That is where you're going to get. And if you're going to take an effort to upgrade, you seriously need to consider going to, to the getting cloud. to that point. Yeah, that's what we're thinking because you know, with in in the recent light of the the situation where everybody's in with the pandemic, you know, we've got more and more of our staff working mobily and remotely and. And, and whatnot so we're definitely leading towards a cloud solution and, and we think more people are going to work remote remote as time goes on so we'd like to give them that option to be able to work from wherever and uh you know it allows us to bring in talent from everywhere so it, it should help us so we're definitely thinking cloud and 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 microsoft 365 officer 65 so yep yeah um, so the, the yeah so i would just tell you so the only so really the you know the things that you should cons what, don't the reasons you would consider moving to business central on premise are 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 these one you you are a uh you do business with the government that requires um you know uh, maybe an itar compliance or something where you cannot operate mm -hmm. on a on a multi tenant cloud environment you have real-time shop floor data collection issues in an area with unreliable internet, and you don't want to you know, be reliant on the internet for right. operations. And the third thing is you have a, a huge and heavily customized database where in, in, you, know, you're, you just have concerns about moving that into an online environment. And then the, the fourth is, um, you have integrations where you want back end control to the SQL database. Okay. Where you're doing things with SQL Server and you're integrating with other systems that rely on like SQL views and queries and you're updating data, right? Um, using SQL tools or things like that, maybe some complex integrations. Those are the reasons that you might consider staying on premise.